Oh yes, it's me, the Triple P, the Inspector, the Platinum Player Papa. There so while the Inspector likes to ramble in the background, we're taking a look at four brand new games never featured before on this channel. All of them have a release date for 2023. One of them has been featured before, but since then it got brand new gameplay updates and just huge news in general. The Inspector's got a nice show for you today. Strap in, smack that subscribe button. Hit the like button to show your support, because this video is not sponsored by anyone except me, the narrator. And let's do it. Supposed to. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I'm gonna dive right in. We're gonna start with Citizen Conflict, an upcoming free-to-play team-based shooter. It is third person and currently in the alpha stages, so you could play the game right now if you want to. The alpha stages means just the gameplay is out there, the no monetization or anything like that. Usually, that's what an alpha test means in this crypto gaming space. Now, I chose this game because, as they say, there is no pay to win. It is based on pure skills. So you would ask, how do you actually earn in this game? <laughs> Which, for some of you or most of you, is one of the most important questions. Now, where a lot of games fail is they want to incentivize the players just by the money so there's no really other incentive for playing well this game kind of changes that and a lot of games featured on this list well all of them want to change that which I like you got to change we got to change that narrative it's not just about the money it's also about having fun while playing games and it's also about the games being actually good and not just money grabs right and <laughs> which have Ponzi-nomics most of the time and just fail down the road so in citizen conflict the only limit is you you work hard and you win big it is very easy there's no pay to win only pure skill so they will have tournaments with price pools and valuable nft loot now tournament play to earn style games are gonna make it big this is something that is totally sustainable games could get sponsors for each and every single one of those tournaments and it could be totally sustainable in the long run this is one of the models that i think will actually work out you make good gameplay like triple a game unreal engine 5 just like this one so this is a triple a game it is made on the unreal engine 5 and you don't win by getting a kill you do you you don't you don't get money with every kill you play in the tournament you play good you win you get money that's how it's supposed to be that is a sustainable way once someone makes a sustainable way where everyone can win money well freaking a i'll be the first one to promote it but so far no one has been able to crack that code if everyone gets the money the price of the token inevitably falls down and people stop playing the game now if you want me to do a deep dive about any of these games let me know because right now i will try to keep it short citizen conflict is set to release the full game around the end of this year moving on to a trading card game for all of you trading card game fans out there just like myself i'm a huge trading card game fan right now the the best trading card game in crypto in my personal opinion of course everybody has different opinions is gods on chain freaking love it still play it they have a kind of sustainable way of making people money everybody can make money but only a limited amount of money so i guess it's kind of sustainable so far it's worked out good but the actual gameplay is really well really well done that being said what is parallel life well it's one of the five streams of evolution that humans have undergone simultaneously they're earthian Mercolian, Augencore, gothari and shroud now i'll probably mispronounce most of these i have no idea what it means this is some lore based things but look at the gameplay it looks pretty damn good so you need 40 cards to play and in order to win basically you need to drain the life force of your enemy both of you start with 30 life points and so their nfts are supposedly already available so by purchasing their original nfts you basically support the parallel life project as anyone supporting an early stage project by purchasing an nft right now obviously you have to accept the risk that there may be delays or maybe they just start developing it all together you, you never know with being in a project early what could happen either way in order to play you will need one complete deck so 40 cards one of the five parallels that i mentioned in the beginning is the deck types basically that you can have and there's also universal cards that go in every deck now not every card has to be an nft as far as i understood and it if that's the case if every card needs to be an nft then this is terrible but i don't think that's the case and also in order to balance the gameplay the nfts don't give you any exclusive benefits other than that the card is rare it has the rarity model and it's scarce and so it has value the alpha testing for the game will begin in february of 2023 so in a month from now this is gonna be very interesting we're gonna keep our eye on this game with that being said moving on to the next one meta pixel now this game is interesting for a couple of reasons 
Let me tell you. First of all, the other day I saw this coin named APT or Aptos and I didn't really think much of it. Then I saw the price of the coin pumped quite a bit so I wanted to research it a bit and see what it's all about. And apparently the guys that were supposed to make the coin for Meta, for Mark Zuckerberg's Meta, or Metaverse, Facebook, I didn't even know what they call themselves nowadays, but Anyway, they left that project, that coin is not gonna be made at this point, and that team of developers, along with some other developers, sat down and made it this proof-of-stake blockchain, the layer one blockchain of Aptos. Now, Metapixel, the thing I'm gonna talk about now, is the premier gaming ecosystem on the Aptos layer one blockchain, which is very, very interesting, so I definitely wanted to talk about it. So the game is called Grand Saga, it's supposed to be released this year, as far as I know, maybe I'm wrong. Either Way, it's a cross-platform anime style RPG where you're supposed to keep your ownership of the value you create, own and control your digital asset. They want to build a sustainable and open for all ecosystem and so Grand Saga Unlimited launches in 20. 23. Now, Grand Saga already exists, and the team at NPixel, as they call themselves, have released that game, and it's it was a huge hit in Korea and Japan, and they have released another game called Chrono Odyssey, which is also an MMORPG, and is it is also AAA quality, so they know how to build Web 2 games. Now, let's see what they're gonna do with Web 2. Three. Very exciting, um, very interesting people working on this. J JRPGs are, can be very interesting. There's definitely a market for it. Now, adding the NFT element in it, adding the play to earn element in it through tournaments, obviously, or if they crack the formula for sustainable earning, that'd be freaking amazing. So, either way, something to keep our eyes on. Very interesting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the next game on the list is a game we talked about a lot. But since we talked about it last time, there's been huge updates, more gameplay. And I was like, bro, I don't, I don't want to showcase a new game. I want to try and show you this. You might have already seen it. Let's be honest, you've probably already seen it, but let's review it together. We're talking, of course, about Star Atlas. So Star Atlas is supposed to be an MMO, a massive multiplayer online metaverse or an MMOM. -M. Something new. Everybody likes new things. Built on the Solana blockchain, it's a quest about territorial conquest and political domination. You join a faction and you directly influence the course of the metaverse and earn real world income for the contribution. Now look at this new gameplay from the space gameplay which I'm showing right now. Editor, cue, cue the space, space gameplay, not me, space gameplay, come on. Flying through space with your own spaceship which is supposedly your own to own, so an NFT or a non-fungible token. Non-fungible meaning there's only one of it and it is mine, well, or yours, or, well, whoever buys it, I guess. <laughs> Shooting your way through asteroids, other players, and monsters within the universe. A truly AAA quality game Truly amazing graphics and everything space related will absolutely blow up this year in the regular gaming industry from titles like Star Citizen gaining popularity, Starfield from Bethesda, the guys that created Skyrim and Fallout 4. I'm super excited for that game as well. It's not a crypto game, but it is a space game. So space games will have a huge market in 2023 and I'm just excited for Star Atlas for a crypto game to be in that context, talked about in that context at all, right? So that's freaking exciting. So this is the new gameplay, the new showroom. They have shown a lot, they have grown a lot since I've last talked about them. Uh, they have started their land sale as well. So the real estate market of each of the faction central space stations has been activated. You can acquire your residence right now. I'm still skeptical, I'm gonna be honest. I'm Of course I'm still skeptical, the game looks too good to be true. I hope everything is true, but I'm not gonna buy their land just because I'm too skeptical. I, you, you can try the gameplay right now. They, they actually gave a playable version. I saw some YouTubers play it. So I guess you can try and play it right now. Uh, who knows when the full game is gonna come out. Hopefully this year, hopefully 2023. If it doesn't get delayed, uh, you can never know 100%, right? Only what they tell you. But still, I get a little bit hyped every time I see new gameplay that looks this good. That being said, moving on to the last, but definitely not least, fighting game called Battle of Olympus. Now you can pre-register to play the game early right now, or you can hop on their website and play a playable demo, which is what we're gonna do. So before we keep talking about this, let's try 
the playable demo. So this is an alpha development. You have gods, which are NFTs, and let's just go to practice. Um, actually, actually, take me back. So my commands. I got Y and U, which are my hands. I got H and J, uh, which are my fists, or maybe vice versa. We'll, we'll about to find out. The game is going to be available for a lot of platforms. It's not going to be browser-based. It is browser-based only for the gameplay demo, only for this alpha version to show everybody how it's played. So I love the transparency right away. Love the transparency. They give you a playable alpha demo for completely free. Uh, with no pre-registering bullshit, with no NFT buying in order to try the alpha and stuff like that. They just straight up gave it to you. This is our game. We are confident that it's good enough for you to try and still want to buy our NFTs or um, whatever else they decide to do in the future. So very, very good. Okay, I'm gonna be Hades. Of course, I'm gonna be Hades and we're gonna play against Juice. Let's go. All right. Okay, okay. One second, one second. I gotta lock my microphone into place. Zeus, you can try all you want you're not gonna beat me i'm too good at this shit okay here we go so uh you and i no y and you are my hands we have combos h and j are my legs oh my god okay this is the up kick okay can we do an up kick put him in air and then do our hand combo that'd be freaking sick so a fighting game finally mortal kombat style the animations look very nice Easy. <laughs> Alright, well there's that. I'm a huge fan of fighting games, Mortal Kombat. Freaking love Mortal Kombat. I always buy the collector's editions of the games. Animations are great, freaking flawless. I love the little pause with every hit you get. I tried pushing him in the air and doing a combo mid-air. Everything works in the alpha demo. Uh, there's, I haven't seen any bugs whatsoever in the few times that I've played this. Um, nothing that really drew me out of the game. I'm perfectly present. I, I just like it. I really, really freaking like it. I want this game to succeed. I want you to try it. It's completely free. Go over, try it. The PvP dev was also supposed to come out in Q1 to Q2 of this year, so 2023. And the early access on Steam. So it's supposedly going to be on Steam, even though Steam doesn't like NFTs. I don't know how they're going to tackle that issue, but hopefully it gets resolved and this game can be played on Steam. I can't wait to try the PvP battles and kick some of the YouTubers' asses out there. Now, Q3 to Q4, they're going to do the crypto implementation. They're going to have their own Battle of Olympus token. Now, that's something I'm not a fan of. I'm not going to do a deep dive on this. Maybe in a different video, I'm just not a fan of games having their own tokens. Never ends well. Guess we'll see how they're gonna tackle this issue. A lot of games do it differently, so maybe they will succeed. I hope to God they will. And also in Q3 to Q4, probably Q4, they're also gonna release the um, Google Play version, so for Android phones, as well as the full release of the game. That being said, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Spectre out.